Balance Pilates Studio in Perth in Scotland. I'll be doing some exercises on the Orbit and on the Allegro 2 Reform. Both awesome bits of kit from Balance Body. Enjoy. You can see that I've moved the infinity bar up and out of the way. I've got a single blue spring on. That's all we're going to use the whole time. And the shoulder blocks are taken out just to give us some more space. Here we go. I'm assuming that you're quite warmed up already because it's going to get interesting very swiftly. Start with your feet, knees, hip distance apart, tall and upright. Take a breath in and breathe out, tuck your chin, roll down through the spine one piece at a time. Walk it out into a push up position. Now, the push up position has straight arms and hands directly below the shoulders, a straight line through shoulders, hips, knees and ankles. We're not swayed and we're not lifted. Both of those are easier positions but they are not maintaining the balance of posterior and anterior chains. From here then we can do a push-up where the elbows come straight down to the side of the body and up, down and up. Last one, and up. I'm enjoying doing these in threes at the moment. And trust me, we're going to be doing a lot of push-ups. So, threes, twos, ones is perfectly acceptable. We're going to change our spinal position. Tuck your chin, crawl down. Walk it out. Perfect. Push up alignment. And from here, let's extend through the thoracic spine into a horse and come back to neutral. Extend and back to neutral. Extend. Back to neutral. Now let's find that extended position and do push-ups from here. Bend the arms. Straighten. This is not a spinal movement now, it's a shoulder movement. Go to neutral, walk back out of it. Everything falls into place. The thing about a push-up, because of your closed chains, feet, hands, hand and foot, hand and foot, it's quite linear. And it's the same thing on the reformer. It moves you forwards and back. This is where the orbit comes in. We can start doing some lateral movements. The beauty of the orbit is that it's fully two-dimensional. We can go anywhere we want. Let's just go down into a standard push-up. Tuck your chin, roll down. Walk it out. And for ease of access, Kneel down, grab hold of the orbit, roughly where you're going to be up in the push-up position. I'm holding on either side. You can hold on at the short ends, depending on how wide your shoulders are. Your hands want to be as close to underneath the shoulders as possible. And let's push up into a perfect push-up position. Here we're maintaining control as we go down. And down. And I'm trying not to move the orbit down and up. Let's bring the orbit with us as we restack the spine. We'll go down and out and play with that horse position. Rolling out, keeping the hands directly below the shoulders. And from here, let's move into a horse extension of the thoracic spine. Let's try not to dump this into the lumbar spine so the pelvis doesn't really move. And walk, roll back out of that. Horse push ups on the orbit. Tuck your chin. Roll down. Grab the orbit. Roll it out. Neutral, horse, shoulders are down, bend the arms, keeping the orbit still straight. Down and up and down and up. 
neutral return. One thing that I will say about a push-up is it doesn't matter how far you bend and straighten the arms. If you do a micro-bend of the elbows, that's enough for me. We're now going to take advantage of the orbits, lateral, three-dimensional move, two-dimensional move. Tuck chin, roll it. Walk it out. Drop the knees. So I've made a stable position. Knees are locked onto the mat. Hands are locked onto the orbit. Feet are locked onto the floor. The pelvis is therefore still. And we can do lateral flexions, keeping the hands below the shoulders. It's tempting to go swinging the arms, steering wheel in the orbit, but it's hard to do lateral flexion of the spine, keeping the hands in line with the shoulders. Trying to keep this out of the feet, out of the knees. One more. Back to center. Straighten the legs. Return. Restack the spine. And we can get rid of this puppy. And now we're going to move our push ups onto the reform. Take a breath in, tuck the chin, roll in through the spine one piece at a time. Walk it out. Let's just assess our push up position. Down, down, and up. Last one, and up. Remember, it's perfectly fine to do a micro bend. Let's collect the carriage. I'm leaving my left hand, bringing the carriage forwards with my right hand in line with the two hands. Let's push up from here. So the carriage is now moving. I'm unstable. Maintain a good straight neutral position with the torso. Bend the arms and up. Bend the arms and up. Bend the arms and up. Maintaining a stable carriage. Let's walk up onto the carriage. My two hands are now my two hands are now in line with my shoulders, but offset on the carriage. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Last one and straighten. Let's step closer. Reorganize the hands out in front. Out into a spring gait. Push up out here. Down. Down. Keeping my right hand still. Now we're going to step off on the other side. Square the hands up in line with the shoulders, but diagonally across the tension of the spring. Bend and straighten. My thighs make contact, so I can't go as low as I normally would with a regular push up. And now we're on the other side, hands are in line. The body's possibly a little bit twisted, but it doesn't matter. Two, last one, three. And let's step off here. Let's do a complimentary push up on the other side just to make sure that we know where we are. Restart the spine and everything falls into place. We are now well set up for doing a snake and twist variation at this end of the reformer. I say a variation because there's no foot bar and there are no shoulder wrists. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. I said pretty much, we'll see what happens. Place a hand onto the foot plate. The ideal thing here is that the standing platform has got a bit of grip, so I'm not going to slip off. One hand at the back edge of the carriage, other hand kind of near the shoulder rest, 
where the shoulder block goes, and then we push out, lace the legs around each other. Find ourselves up in a V, and twist. Find ourselves up in a V, and push the carriage away to look out the window. Square up to neutral, twist around, and come back up. Let's go down into extension, back a little bit, into a twist, and come home. Now let's make this interesting. So we go out into extension, un extend, twist, and come home, and up from here because the hands are equal in height, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten the arms, step off, re-snap the spine, walk around the other side. We plant a foot on the foot plate, one hand at the back edge, one hand in the shoulder block, wrap the legs, Start in a V. Go out. Extension. Back. And twist. Neutral. Come home. Out. Extension. Back. And twist. Neutral. Come home. Last one. Into extension. And twist. And come up, stay home, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend, straighten, step off, restack, we're going to go back onto the reformer, square. So let's roll down, swing the body, plant the hands just below where the shoulder rest would be. Feet up onto the standing platform. We're in a push up. Let's horse the spine through here and return. Horse, keep the carriage still and return. Horse, back to neutral. Horse and stay. Push up, it's down. And up. Keep the carriage as still as you can. Neutral, return, bring the carriage home, walk the hands in, and we get a restack standing on the platform. You can see that my feet are wrapped around the platform for dear life, but life is going to get easier. We're going to roll down. Walk it out whilst bending the knees. So the knees are at the back edge and come into a quadruped. From here, with the toes wrapped over the back edge of the standing platform, go on to tiptoes, Achilles stretch. Tiptoes and Achilles stretch. Nothing moves. There's no need for anything to move because the knee joint is locked into place by being in contact with the carriage. So we know the movement at the ankle. To make it interesting, drop one elbow down where the hand was. You can read a book, make a fist, wrap the other hand around it, and we're going to push out into a plank. Straight plank. So here, the elbow is directly below the shoulder. There's a straight line through shoulder, through hips, knees and ankles. And let's do the same. Toes, Achilles. Toes, Achilles. Up onto tiptoes, Achilles. Up onto tiptoes, Achilles. Come to neutral. Push the carriage away with the shoulders. Pull it underneath you. Flexion as the shoulder as you go forwards. Flexion at the shoulder as you go forwards, extension at the shoulder as you go back, but the shoulder girdle is depressed the whole time, 
and you're in a neutral spine. Back to centre. Retract and protract at the shoulder without moving the carriage. Small postural muscles not wanting to play the game. And bend back in to a quadruped. From here, we're going to go up into a standard push-up on the reformer again. Hands where the elbows were. Push yourself away. The spring is engaged. And we're simply going to do a leg pull. One leg up behind and down. Other leg up behind and down. One, other, come back home. It's worth noting, personally, I like to lift the leg behind rather than flex the front leg. I'll show you the difference. So flexing the front leg gives you a higher lift of the back leg, but it still only goes in line with the torso. Whereas if we hold the pelvis in a neutral position, as if we were standing, and lift the leg behind, we don't have much extension of the hip. This is going to set us up for doing push-ups with a leg pull, which is reminiscent of a control balance front on the reformer, just that you're not on the foot bar nor on the shoulder blocks. Push out, lift one leg behind, stay open at the hips, bend and straighten the arms. We'll do two on each side. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten, come home, return, and let's step off. Swing sideways, hang down, and enjoy the return. Thank you for watching this Balanced Body video. I'm Yoa Kim. Come and visit me at my studio, Balanced Pilates Studio in Perth in Scotland. I hope you enjoy push-up variations using the Orbit and the Allegro 2 Reformer. Keep on moving.